If you are looking for recommendations for hotels in Barcelona, you've come to the right place. Today we are going to share 30 recommendations of places to stay in Barcelona. Hola, ¿qué tal? I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. Barcelona is by far the city we have visited the most times in Spain, hundreds of times. And in the course of those visits, we have stayed in more than 80 different hotels in the last decade. We could say without fear of sounding conceited that we have a pretty good idea of what it's like to stay in a hotel in Barcelona. We thought that a useful way of presenting the 30 establishments we're going to recommend would be to use five very generic and easy to understand categories. Basic hotels, mid-range hotels, apart hotels, boutique or design hotels, and luxury hotels. We have discarded the use of stars because they often do not help much to understand the category of the hotel. A two-star hotel may be better than a three-star hotel, for example. In the description of the video, links to all the hotels so that you can check the prices. We will discuss prices in more detail at the end of the video. The first in our section of basic accommodation is Generator Barcelona. It is located at the top of the Paseo de Gracia next to the Gracia district and with several metro stations nearby. It's a bit far from the historic center of Barcelona, but in a very good area. Generator combines a hostel and a design hotel in the same building. We had stayed at the hotel before and really enjoyed the experience. The Travelodge Barcelona Poblenou is located away from the center of Barcelona in the Poblenou district, one of our favorite neighborhoods in the city. It has a metro station nearby and several bus lines to the center. It belongs to the international network of low-cost hotels with simple rooms with very comfortable beds. We have stayed here many times and it has always been an excellent choice. Best price Diagonal is at the farthest point of the Avenida Diagonal from the center of Barcelona, but it is very well connected by metro, tram and buses. It occupies the ground floor of a block of flats. It is a basic and comfortable hotel where we have stayed once. Despite its remoteness, we really like the neighborhood where the hotel is located. Easy Hotel is at the opposite end of Barcelona, on the border between the city of Barcelona and Hospitalet de Llobregat. It is very well connected to the center. It is a modern, simple hotel with very comfortable beds. For a long time, it offered very affordable rates, and that is why we have stayed there many, many times. Hotel San Pau is next to the Hospital de San Pau and not far from the Sagrada Familia, with several metro stations nearby. There is not much to do in the neighborhood. It is a simple hotel where we stayed once before and would go back if the price was right.
The best location in the Bacha Hotel block is the Pratik Garden, in the posh area of the Ensanche with a metro station nearby. It allows you to do quite a lot of sightseeing on foot. It's a hotel with simple rooms and a fun design approach. We stayed there once and liked it very much. The Ibis Tiles Barcelona Center is the best located of all Ibis hotels in Barcelona. It is close to the Paseo de Gracia with the metro nearby. You can do quite a lot of sightseeing on foot. It is a comfortable hotel with a very nice design and we have stayed there twice. Hotel Parallel is a small and nice hotel in the Parallel neighborhood, close to the historic center of Barcelona and with metro and buses almost on the doorstep. It is located in a very lively area of Barcelona. In the low season months, it usually has very good fares and we have stayed there several times. Hotel Andante is in the Raval neighborhood, very close to the Maritime Museum and La Ramblas. We have stayed there once and really enjoyed the hotel, which has a small pool with beautiful views on the top floor. Hotel Condado is just north of Avenida Diagonal, where Barcelona's uptown area begins. It is in a good area of the city, but the metro is a bit far from the hotel, so it's best to take the bus to get around. We stayed at the hotel once and found it comfortable and stylish. Hotel Auditori, part of the Illunion chain, is in the Ensanche district, very close to the Estación del Norte bus station and the Ciudadela Park. It is very well connected by metro and bus to other parts of the city. We stayed there once and had a comfortable stay. Aco suites are designed flats with a very good location in the Ensanche district, very close to the university. The rooms are spacious and all are equipped with a kitchen. There is a small swimming pool on the terrace of the building. We have stayed in them once before and found them to be a great choice. Capri by Fraser is a modern apartment building located in an ever-expanding neighborhood of Barcelona, not far from Plaza Glorias and with two metro stations nearby. The designer flats are spacious and well-equipped, including a kitchen. We stayed in them once, in a room for three people, and it was a good experience.
Cosmo Apartment Sands occupies a modern building very close to Sands Station, which is very convenient for mobility, both on arrival in Barcelona and within the city. The design flats are spacious. We stayed in one of them a long time ago when it had a different name and loved the design. Eric Vocal Sagrada Familia Suites is a unit of the design flat chain that is very close to the Hospital de San Pau and not far from the Sagrada Familia. It is not in the center of Barcelona but has the metro almost on the doorstep. We stayed in the flats on a family visit, there were five of us and the stay was comfortable. B Hotel is a design hotel very close to Plaza de España and the entrance to Montjuic Park. The España Metro is almost on the doorstep, as are many bus lines. The rooms are modern in design and there is a small pool on the terrace. We have stayed at the hotel once before and liked it very much. The Barcelo Sands is a hotel of the Spanish Barcelo chain with a futuristic design. It is located just above the Sands train station. We stayed there recently and loved the comfortable rooms and the design project. It's very convenient if you need to catch the high-speed train or any other train out of Barcelona. The Hotel Casa Fuster is a luxury hotel that we could have included in the section on luxury hotels, but we present it here because it is a real gem, the work of the modernist architect Domenech Montaner. The hotel is located at the entrance to the Gracia district at the top of the Paseo de Gracia. The Hotel España is another jewel of Catalan Art Nouveau architecture, once again the work of the architect Domènech y Montaner. It is in the Raval district next to the Liceo Theatre and the Ramblas, very well located for sightseeing in Barcelona. The rooms, unlike the building itself, are modern in design. Numa Roca Rooms and Apartments is a small establishment occupying a spacious flat decorated with modernist and vintage elements. It's in the Sanche, not far from Pase de Gracia and with the metro almost on the doorstep. We stayed here a few years ago and loved the design of both the rooms and the common areas. The accommodation here is more basic than in other hotels in this block. Olivia Balmes is a charming design hotel very close to Paseo de Gracia. It has very comfortable rooms and a small swimming pool on the hotel terrace. Its location allows for a lot of sightseeing on foot.
the Praktik Vinoteca is a themed hotel dedicated to the world of wine. It has simple rooms and a great location for sightseeing in Barcelona. We have stayed there once before and really liked the design project of the hotel. Hotel Soho is a modern design hotel located on the Gran Via, close to the University of Barcelona and with a metro almost on the doorstep. We have stayed at the hotel twice and really liked the location and the design. We finished the list with a hotel quite far from the center of Barcelona but very well connected and where we have already stayed once. We loved the design of the hotel, quite a lot of fun. At a good price, we would definitely come back. The luxurious Mandarin Oriental Hotel enjoys a spectacular location on Paseo de Gracia, perfect for exploring Barcelona, as well as a beautiful garden and a small rooftop pool. Rooms are spacious and contemporary in design. Hotel Mercer is a luxury hotel located in Barcelona's Gothic Quarter. It is built partly on the old city walls of Barcelona and history is breathed into every corner of the hotel. The rooms are spacious with stone walls. Hotel Monument is a luxury hotel opened in 2016 and occupies a beautiful 19th century modernist building. It is located in the Paseo de Gracia, Barcelona's most luxurious address. Inside, comfort and refinement await for you. Hotel Neri occupies an 18th century palace located in a quiet corner of the bustling Gothic quarter, very close to the cathedral. The interior of the hotel retains the charm of the original building, but the rooms are equipped with all modern comforts. Hotel Serras occupies a historic building opposite Port Vale, Barcelona's old harbour, in the lower part of the Gothic Quarter. It is a stylish design hotel with a small rooftop pool overlooking the Mediterranean. At 
the end of our list is the luxurious W Barcelona, also known as the Sail Hotel, Hotel Bella. It may not have the best location, it's at one end of Barcelona's harbor, but its silhouette is certainly one of the most recognizable images of Barcelona. With the most luxurious of choices ends our list of 30 recommendations of hotels in Barcelona at different levels of comfort and prices. Occasionally someone asks why we don't put hotel prices in the videos and we don't mind explaining the reason once again. Hotel prices have long ceased to exist, just as airline or train ticket prices no longer exist either. Prices are dynamic and change depending mainly on two factors, the date of your stay and the date of booking. And for you to check the prices, we put in the description of the video the booking links so you can start preparing your trip. Remember one thing, traveling on your own is wonderful, but it means you have to take on a lot of responsibilities and one of them is researching prices. Well, as always, if you have any questions about the subject of the video, just ask. Remember that we already have another video on the channel explaining which is the best area of Barcelona to stay in. And if you are coming to Barcelona, there are a number of mistakes you should avoid making. We talk about all of them in the video we're showing you right now on screen. We are heading to that video where we will be waiting for you.